Hi guys, welcome back to the next episode of Sound Drone Show. Today I'm going to be talking about the future of Harry Potter. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the next episode of the Sound Drone Show where we talk about pop culture. Today I'm going to be talking about the future of Harry Potter. Um, now when I say the future of Harry Potter, I mean it in other media. I don't mean the books. I mean... Like, it, uh, any TV shows or movies or video games they could do in the future. Now, obviously, we had Hogwarts Legacy, which came, I think, last week. Um, I still haven't played this game. I will get it soon. I think maybe the end of, if if not the end of this month, maybe next month. Um, yeah, there were lots of controversy with this game, um, mainly towards J.K. Rowling. But I think it's a good game. Um, I will check it out. I'll get on PlayStation 5. And, yes, Hogwarts Legacy. Um, uh, yeah, this is... This is the first Harry Potter game we've had since... Um, this is the first official one we've had in a long time. Because all the ones we had before, they were basically movie tie-ins. And we obviously, we had the Lego Harry Potter. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game. I really think it'll be good. Now, now that now this is the only video game we know of, let's move on to like movies and TV shows they can do. Which I think Harry Potter is probably Warner Brothers' second biggest IP off the DC. Um, they own that DC, Game of Thrones, Sex and the City, like the Superman franchise. There's plenty of IPs they have. But the second biggest one is um, Harry Potter. Now, uh, let's... Um, 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 so, let's talk about Dumbledore. Now, I think Dumbledore, they can make a Dumbledore TV series. Like an eight-episode TV series on HBO or HBO Max. And I think Dumbledore is an interesting character. I think they could do lots of it. They could do like ten-episode HBO series. And I think they could just give them a bigger budget. It could be good. Um, I would want... Um, uh, who plays Dumbledore? It was um, it was um, Mike Gambon. I wouldn't mind him come back. Um, I think they could, it could be a prequel. It can go back. It could like it can introduce to Mike Gambon and it can go back to when he was younger. I mean, I like Dumbledore. I think he's a good character. I think they tried to explore it a bit in the sequence of Dumbledore. But it didn't like fully like it didn't fully it didn't reach to its full potential. So I think a Dumbledore series could be good. A prequel series on HBO or HBO Max could be good. Let's go Fantastic Beasts. Now we've had three Fantastic Beasts movies. We had Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, and The Secrets of Dumbledore. Um, there were it was originally going to be a trilogy, but um, um, not Fantastic Beasts. Um, it was it was to be a trilogy, but. Um, J.K. Rowling wanted it to be five movies, and the thing with the Fantastic Beasts, I feel like the first one was good, but then the second one was just such so bad, and the third one was okay. But I think by the time, so the third one was because the second one was so bad, they had to push it back, and then um, uh, and then um, they pushed, and I, th I think, and then we had the whole thing with Johnny Depp and um, Amber Heard. They got rid of Johnny Depp, they brought Mads Mikkelsen, and the whole thing with Ezra Miller, and and. So by the time the third movie came out, people just didn't care anymore, and it bombed at the box office. So, so I say instead of doing Fantastic Beasts four, I say they just do four and five, but just turn it into a HBO TV series, so they can just end the storylines and all the actors could come back, give it a bigger budget, and just end the series. Um, because I thought like Fantastic Beasts, I love the third one. I really think they could have continued it, but um, yeah, I think a series could be good. Next we got Snape. Um. Oh, uh, Snape. Um, I would want a Snape series, but the problem with the Snape series, I think they can do. Um, I think I would want a Snape series. Um, now the problem with the Snape series is that Alan Rich, Alan Rickman, he died, so it would have to be a prequel series. I would want it to just be a series. There could be flashbacks of Alan Rickman. But I think it should be like a prequel series. And I like Snape, he's a good character. I wish they could do more with him. Um I wish they'll talk about more about his backstory, because I think they did in the movies, but I didn't like go into it that much. And I would like a HBO HBO like series on Snape. And this would be Harry Potter and the Curse Show. Now this is one. Now this is one people have been wondering. Um if you don't know Curse Child, it was basically um it was basically a play. Um, um, basically, it was a play, and it was a book. Um, and this one is not canon to the Harry Potter books. And um, yeah, this came in. 
I think it was 2016. And yeah, it was a play of the book. People have been asking if they'll make a feature film on them, the Cursed Child. I'm not, I know a lot of Harry Potter, Harry Potter fans don't like Cursed Child, and I don't like the book. Um, yeah, Toby Emmerich wanted um, a Cursed Child movie, but J.K. Rowling didn't want to. So I think David Zaslav wants them more IPs, with wants them to do more with Harry Potter. So I think they could do Cursed Child. I think I see this being a movie, and I think Daniel Radcliffe could come back, and I think. Um, um, Emma Watson and Rupert Grind, they can come back. Um, which kind of, which I mean, I think I think they I think they could probably change the story and make it a bit better. But I mean, I'm not a huge fan of how if they do a cursed child, I wouldn't I wouldn't be against it. I think it could be good. Um, last, um, which um, I would want a Harry Potter TV series. Um, and uh, and what I mean by that, I th- I I mean that like a, a sequel TV series, like set off the Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part Two. Um, I say they just do that because um, a sequel TV series. So like, I I I want like new students at Hogwarts, and then like um, Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grind, and Emma Watson can come back. Like all the remaining actors can come back. And the only ones that won't come back is Anna Rickman, Kizzy Pastor, Way, Robbie Coltrane, and then. I think Helen McCrory, I think that's her name. Those three won't, won't come back because they passed away. Um, Dumbledore can come back. I think all the remaining actors can come back. Um, and yeah, um, I think Harry Potter series, I think I would, I think this is the one I would want. I would just want a sequel series. Um, um, Disney said they're doing um, uh, a Percy Jackson series, which will be based on the books. But um I would rather I rather they just do that rather than remake the films because I feel like the, the the I feel like there's such a huge fan base for the Harry Potter movies and because they're not that old, I don't think I think because they're perfect. I don't I don't want them to be remade. I would want them to just do a sequel series, and I think the reason why Percy Jackson is because I feel like the Percy Jackson the movies weren't as loved, and there are only two movies. So yeah, the TV show will be big. So I think if HBO, if Warner Bros. want to compete with that, they should do a Harry Potter TV series. And it could be good. They can just bring the original cast back. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, all of them can come. I would want a sequel series um, um, uh, with the original, com- the legacy characters come back and then they- and there's a bunch of new students. So yeah, that is it. I just want to get this video. So this is the future of, um, um, of Harry Potter. So guys, thanks so much for my videos. My next video, bye.